Hi guys, my name's Alistair Taylor. I'm the head teaching professional at the PGA Golf Academy at Heron Beach in Blackpool. Today we're going to look at how to improve your pitching. So the key thing for most guys, presuming that we can strike the ball relatively consistently, is being able to get the ball a little bit nearer to the hole to begin with, so that that first foot is of shorter range. For me, too many guys have no idea how far to hit certain shots and therefore when they're 40, 50, 60 yards short of the green, they don't hit it inside 30 foot on a regular basis and take three putts too often, two putts at best. So, the first thing I like to do is we'll start with one wedge. So I've got my 56, my sand wedge, and I would know how far I would hit a full shot as I do with all the clubs in my bag. And I'm in a very fortunate position that I've got flight scope base here, so I, I can have access to those numbers all the time. If you haven't got access to something like that, or you can't go down to see someone, a simple thing would be just to pace out or use one of your, your bushnell or yardage finder to just put some different targets at different yardages. But once I've got my full swing, then I need to practice some different length swings that I know I can produce consistently, which will then give me a consistent distance. For me, personally, I think everyone initially needs to learn almost a, a half type swing. So you want to feel that the hands are kind of getting back to waist height and then fairly full on the way through. So using my 56, if I make that swing, that's out there and that should be for me about 55 okay 58 yards there so pretty decent so again if I make the same swing I was pretty pretty close within a couple of yards and again make another swing waist height fairly full on the way through So straight away there, I start seeing a, a really consistent carry distance. And, and the initial thing is learning how far you hit it through the air, because the total distance will vary depending on the ground conditions. Obviously if the, the ground's very, very soft, the ball will stop around where it lands. As it gets very hard in the summer, it can roll. But if you know a, a carry distance, if you do need to hit it over a bunker or over some form of hazard, that becomes a lot easier for you. So once I get into that groove, with my sandwich of making the same swing over and over again then you're looking at okay if i can do it with one club if i can make the same swing with different clubs that will give me different distances so dependent on how many wedges you guys carry you're going to have different yards so for me personally i carry a pitching wedge which is 45 degrees loft, I carry a 50 degree, I carry my 56 and a 60. So I carry four wedges and there might be quite a lot of you guys out there that maybe only carry pitching wedge and sand wedge, there might be some of you guys that carry three wedges rather than four. Whatever you carry them, if you can practice initially that one length swing, that's going to give you a distance with each one. So I, I know my yardage there with my 55, so if I make the exact same swing with my pitching wedge, this will give me a different yardage. And again, really, really good. That one was 80 yards. So that's easy for me. I then go to my 50 degree, make the same swing. Again, slightly higher flight. Not travelling quite as far through the air. And that one's gone 74 yards. My final wedge for me would then be my log wedge, my 60 degree. Exactly the same swing. And very high. Not going too far. That one was 47 yards. So straight away, I've got four different yardages for making the same swing with four different clubs. 
Now that makes that nice and easy because straight away, if I've missed a green, uh, missed a fairway even, I can lay up to a position where I should have a yardage where I should be able to get it close. Or possibly on a par, par 5 when I can't reach into, I can leave myself that yardage. But the key is, if you can make the same length swing and keep the speed and the rhythm of the swing consistent, that's going to deliver a nice consistent distance. Obviously if your swing changes length or the speed changes, that's going to give you a different result and that's what you need to be careful of. But it's going to take a bit of practice. Now if you can remember those yardages, that's great. If not, put a little sticker on the back of your club and have that yardage on the back. Initially I would start with one length swing less than a full swing. Keeps it nice and easy and it doesn't become something that needs a huge amount of practice. If you get good at that, however, you could then implement maybe some different length swings. So for me personally, I have my little half swing waist height. I also have one where my hands get just past my knees and through. Which again, is a shorter distance, nice and simple. And it just gives me some very consistent yardages. And I have one that kind of feels a little bit more like a three quarter shot, which will be a, a touch shorter than my full one. And again, it does take a little bit of practice. And obviously you can have as, as many or as few different length back swings as you feel comfortable with. But when you can make those swings over and over, you just have lots and lots of options under 100 yards. Like I said, the more wedges you have, the more options you have there. You know, the reason a lot of you guys carry a 6 iron, 7 iron, 8 iron, 9 iron pitching wedge is they give you different distances. In my opinion, guys don't carry enough wedges. You know, we play a huge number of our shots from under 100 yards, and yet most people only carry couple of wedges and a putter that they would use for those distances. But if you can strike the ball consistently, which I hope most of you guys can, if you can then learn those yardages, and I stress, you know, not everyone's got access to the equipment that I'm lucky to have here, but hopefully most of you guys will have a golf club nearby or a driving range nearby where you could pay for a session and learn those yardages. It becomes invaluable and it'll probably be the best money you've ever spent. But if you can practice those different length swings with your different wedges and get good with those, it'll save you a huge number of shots. You know, you can be 60 yards short of the green and if you've got a good yardage, you know that you can probably hit that inside 10 foot on a regular basis. And you're not gonna hold all your putts from there, but you are gonna have one putts more often than three putts. If not, that's a different issue with your putting. But practice those different length swings. If you are somebody who only carries pitching wedge and sandwich, possibly try it with your eight and nine eight, give you different options on those clubs. But practice the length swings, learn some yardages, and then when you get out on the golf course, it becomes easier to trust that yardage. And you can make that commitment to that golf swing and look forward to shooting lower scores. Hope you guys have found that helpful. Hope that'll improve your pitching. I've been Alistair Taylor here at the PJ Golf Academy at Herons Beach in Blackpool. Look forward to seeing some of you down here soon. If you'd like to come down, the number that you can give us a call is 01253 832 505. Visit the website on www.heronsbeachgolf.co.uk. Subscribe to our channel up there. You can watch lots more videos with tips and equipment reviews that we're constantly adding onto there. But like I said, I hope to see some of you down here soon. Stay in contact.